Well, congratulations, Five Nights at Freddy's fan base. You have outdone yourself on the shitty factor and the retarded factor. Where do I even begin with this fucking rant? Well, I logged on to my Steam account today, okay? And everything was going fine. I had fun with it, and I was talking to people for a good amount of the day. So I said to myself, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and check my friend's activity feed. Um, some of the people I know are artists, and they upload all kinds of artwork and cool things to the community. Well, not the community. Well, yeah, the community, but um, just all kinds of cool artwork, and, and they, it's posted on the fucking activity stream, okay? That's cool. Whatever. Some of you may not give a shit, but I do, because it's nice. Well... I have been seeing nothing but Five Nights at Freddy's fucking artwork and spam and role plays. I had to delete like 20 people today, okay? I hate that shit. Number one, let's talk about role playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, okay, if you want to do that, you know, in the privacy of your own little home, and you want to just go on Steam, go on a role play website, and you just want to role play as your favorite little retarded robot whatever the fuck you want to call it whatever fine I don't care do it have fun and have a great old time I went on YouTube today to calm down I was like okay I'm gonna chill on YouTube and see what's going on I watched a few videos and uh, my fucking god what is with all these fucking Five Nights at Freddy's children because as we all know no fucking smart adult would ever do this why do you Five Nights at Freddy's role players on YouTube find it need worthy to type a role play comment onto a YouTube video? What is the point of that? I remember, I remember going on to a song. I don't remember what song it was on YouTube, and I, I wanted to listen to it because I like listening to music just like everybody else on this goddamn planet. And I remember seeing some chick. I really hope this was a chick, mind you. And she had the most generic fucking role players anime chick photo. Literally, just just Google uh, anime girl or something photo on Google Images. And you will see what I'm talking about if you actually watch anime. It's your, it's your stereotypical bullshit. And you literally, if you want to actually stand out, you have to shift through that to find anything decent. Okay? She wrote a comment... Again, hoping this is a sheet. Saying something along the lines of, Oh, looks down. Why do I, Why can't I find any lover? And she tagged like five or six other role players on YouTube to do this with. And they had like a humongous comment chain on a YouTube video that had nothing to do with what they were supposed to be role playing with. I sat there and literally, legitimately face palmed. YouTube is not the place to roleplay. And why? Why has it been infested by Five Nights at Freddy's role players? What's the fucking angle on this? Like, are you getting a bunch of people to roleplay with? I, I, I'm genuinely confused. I'm, I'm bewitched. I have no idea what kind of word to use for this one. I'm confused as shit. And if it ain't them spamming... They're fucking role plays. It's them spamming Five Nights at Freddy's as people give a shit like, Ooh, we're so cute and funny. Really? You are? No! No, it's fucking not! Nobody's laughing! I agree, Angry Joe. Nobody gives a shit about your shitty ass fan base, and you're not cute, and you're not fucking funny! You know what? You know what? This made me realize something. Okay? This made me realize something. I know exactly what it's like to be a brony hater now. All that hate the brony community gets when they spam shit and when they, they do dumbass shit on YouTube videos and all that, I completely and honestly can understand why some of you hate the brony community. I completely understand it now. Because I had to deal with something I hate too. And that's funny, because I remember this thing, there was this YouTube video, uh, they had, this group of people had made, like, a brony animation or something, it was really nice and really well done, I think it's called, um, 
uh, Snowdrop, something like that. It, it's really nice, and it was really heartwarming. They literally had to say on their little Facebook group, please stop role-playing in our comments. YouTube is not for role-play. And I cannot agree more with that. YouTube is not made for role-play. It's not like back in the day where you could change your uh, background on YouTube and, um, you know, have little details and you could, you know, role-play in the comment section of your channel. Because at least there, nobody has to really see it. But what's the appeal of a YouTube video, especially if it has nothing to do with what you're trying to roleplay as? What's the appeal of that? You know what I'm saying? It blows my fucking mind. I enjoy a roleplay every now and again. I have somebody trying to message me right now on Steam wanting to do it. But why YouTube? That's not the place to do it. You look dumb. You look like a tool. And as Angry Joe just said, it's not funny. It's not cute. You're not original, and you're tardy to the motherfucking party if you think YouTube is a place to freaking roleplay as. You need to go back to 2010 and further back, my friends. Because that's the only time you're going to look at least tolerable. I remember the first time I ever saw somebody roleplay in my comment section. I've only had one. This person's commenting to me, oh, whatever my character name was back then, looks down at my ring. I don't know if I want to get... It's like... Take that to the private messages or the comment section or in the profile, not the fucking... Ah, oh, YouTube comments. I'm getting a fucking headache. I just, I hate people, man. And I especially hate the retarded kids of this generation, man. You know what I saw today? I saw a YouTube video on this channel called The Young Turks, okay? And they were talking about this poor girl who went up and committed suicide. The comment section of this was one of the most disgusting comment sections I've seen in my entire life. And you usually see them around uh, videos talking about uh, suicide. This girl had killed herself, and people were commenting things like, Welp, one less fucking, I don't know, what, what, what do they say, a weak person in the world? Uh, never mind, that, that's probably a, a story for a different time. Uh, I'm just going on a tangent now. I, I'm sorry if my mic peaked at any point during this video, guys. I just needed to get this off my chest, because... The fucking Five Nights at Freddy's fan base is getting another game, and then they're gonna get another one, and then they're gonna get another one, and then they're gonna get another one, and it's becoming—it's gonna become a Call of Duty effect. And it's—I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm for this shit. I—I I, I hate the fi i hate Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, I—if it had died and ended at three, I would have been like, okay, whatever. But this shit is the new My Little Pony. In fact, it's five times worse because it got popular 50 times faster and has saturated everything worse than the MLP fan base has ever saturated anything. You think bronies are bad? I can think we can all agree that the Five Nights at Freddy's fan base is worse than the PewDiePie community and bad, I'm going to use this term, a bad brony community combined. <sighs> But that's just my thoughts, guys. Leave us in the comments. I'm Super Snow. I needed to rant, okay? I needed this. So please, I understand if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan and you get offended by this. Fuck you. Kiss my ass. I'll see you guys later.